to yeah, how we can check yeah. to see if our uh, qualifications are available to build courses. So I've logged into my BTEC at the moment as a uh, quality nominee for a dummy center. Uh, clicking on this uh, box here from the home screen gives you access to a list that is the complete list of qualifications that my BTEC supports. So you can go uh, in here and ensure that every single uh, one of the courses that can be built in my BTEC will be on one of these lists, okay? That's all well and good. That just talks about what my BTEC can do. For your own sake, you want to be happy that all of the ones that you need to build come up in this list here. Now, what happens often is that there's a size, uh, a whole, um, whole qualification level may be missing all of the level one qualifications by the way are below this uh, this tab here but what happens what do you do when you find out that your course is just not here well here's what we do go log out and we go back into edXL online And rather this time than going straight through to the My BTEC, to go into the My BTEC system, let's just stop at this stage here and have a look at qualifications approved programs. So we've selected BTEC in the drop down here for select qualification. And then we've gone to qualifications approved programs. Now, I'm going to get a huge list on here. I'm going to suggest a nice easy way uh, for you to work with this huge list when it comes up and uh, this is a key part of understanding the way that my BTEC works. This list is what will show up in the my courses or center courses availability. If it's not in this list you cannot make a course from it. You also shouldn't be running a course in that qualification unless you're on the unless it's on this approved list. Now, this is being a dummy center has got a huge number of approved lists, but um, in order to make it manageable, let's just go to the very bottom, hit select, and then drag up. I'm just going to show you a very quick way to drop it into a spreadsheet where you can sort and filter and make it easier to handle. Okay, so I've hit copy here now. I'm going to just open up a blank spreadsheet, cell 1A, right click, I'm going to paste in there. For some reason this is always off one, so I'm going to do control X, right control V. I can now select that column and delete it. Just for tidiness sake, I'm going to make that bold. And I'm going to select all the columns and double click so it auto fits. So now what I have for this center is a complete list of all the approved programs. Your list may be significantly shorter than this. Your list may be as long as this. You can see these are the key codes here which are for your exams officer for when registrations have to be done. The codes are different for every center. I'm just going to come in here to view. I'm going to freeze the top row just so as we, anyway, lots and lots of those. So I'm now going to come in here, go filter. And uh, in here, I'm going to go text filter contains, and I'm going to type perform Forming. Yeah. Excuse my typing problems. So there's still a lot in there for performing arts, but now having filtered it down that way, you have a much better chance of being able to figure out. Now, the key thing here is that it's not good enough for a size smaller or larger than the one you want to run. 
if you want to run the 4A to guided learning hours, performing arts, acting, if that's the course you want to build, if it isn't on this list, you won't be able to build it in my BTEC. So 